So I am at Walnut Mountain Road and let's show you. I'm getting ready to head south. This is the road. That would have been going north and this is going south. Sorry. And there's a little rock area here. I guess the blaze is around the corner. So 10.30 in the morning and it's Happy New Year. I am out for my first hike of 2023. And it should be quiet. There shouldn't be a lot of people today. I'm in a section that's not really hiked that often, but I am looking forward to it. I'm just gonna start fresh. And I'm also testing out my new spot tracker, which is backwards, but uh, let's hit the trail. Here we go. First little stream. Quiet, quiet, trickling. Hardly anything else can we hear. So, of course, I'm thinking a lot today about the new year. This is a big year. I will turn 50 in 11 days. And I don't feel half a century old. <laughs> but I love so pretty. I always love this. Looks like little mini fairy forests. <clears throat> oh. and, uh, I think about all that's happened in my life, everything I've been through, everything that has made me into who I am, and how even that is ever changing. That maybe like the forest, I may seem the same, but we go through periods of decay and renewal and storms that cause branches to fall off of me, but overall, I'm happy with who I am and where life is bringing me. I find peace in everything that I've experienced along the way. Sorry, I always have to stop. I love this moss on the trees. So pretty. So, sorry, I get sidetracked. Here's some mushrooms for my daughter. Megan loves mushrooms. Don't know what these are. She probably does. There's a bunch. Actually watched a little, half watched a little thing on mushrooms on Netflix the other day. It's amazing how the earth is designed to take care of itself. All right, little face. And I thank God for that. I believe he is the most intelligent designer that has embedded wisdom, <clears throat> embedded things we can learn from the place he provided for us to live. I think I connect deeply with that when I go on a hike like this. Anyway, that's just my beginning thoughts on the trail. Again, I'm hiking south from Walnut Road. 
And then I will end up at 19E where Mountain Harbor is, where my car is. But somewhere along the way, I'm going to spend the night. I don't have as much of a plan as I usually do. And I kind of like that. Don't need it this time because it's only like 11 miles total. So no matter what happens, I can roll with it. <clears throat> Came upon a little spot like a little campsite and realized the shelter is actually down here. So it's not far off the trail. Let's go check it out. Looks like we come in from the back side. <clears throat> I guess this is the Moreland Yap Shelter. Uh, there's a couple of decent trees back here for hammocks. That's something I'm always on the lookout for when I'm watching these videos. Uh, let's get down here. Aw, Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, it's Mountaineer Falls shelter. Sorry, wrong one. So, a little fire pit with some rocks for sitting. That looks like a good hammock set right there. Or right there. Alright, that must be the trail for water. But, ah, uh, here's the shelter. Little two-story open face with a fake charger. I love finding those. They're so funny. Yeah, that's not real. You can't charge your phones here. All right, so I'm sitting here at Mountain Near Falls Shelter. I don't know why I keep messing that name up. Mountain Near Falls Shelter. And somebody left a poem um, by the hiker board. So I'm going to read it because I think it's really pretty. She starts it with a verse. The mountains shall bring peace to all the people and the little hills by righteousness. Be still and know that I'm God. This is Psalm 72, 3 and 46, 30 or 46, 10. Sorry. It's all smeared. The calling. Seabird sounds heard round the bay entice me with their cries to stay. But Appalachian mountains call, say, trace my mountains free to all and bind your heartstrings to my ways of simpler life to fill your days. Affection whispers in each breeze and swirls sweet fragrance from my trees. There's panting breath for every climb or mounts indoor in spite of time. And hiked ascents of summit trails can capture views each mount unveils. Your heart can know this blessed embrace. My mountain treasures grant such grace where strength emits from every stone for hearts in need who feel alone. And I can't tell what this says because it's on the fold. And maybe gurgling voices flow in creeks with messages of calm they speak. And campfire nights with woodland sound can help a heart know settling down. For those who dream to be made whole, the trail holds balms to touch one's soul. True healing for the inner man from God amid each footfall's span. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalm 119, 105. This was written by Marlene Simpson on April 23rd, 2021. So that was beautiful. So Marlene Simpson, whoever you are, thank you. You blessed my day with your poem today. Uh -huh. This is the bottom of Mountaineer Falls. There's a half frozen top. Let's head up there. Okay, 
I am come to this little spot where I'm not quite sure which way to go. I think we've joined up with a little Jeep pass. So I just wanted everyone to know I tested it out already. And we need to go this way. Can't see any blazes. I know that there's a little river slash creek that we're about to be walking by. So I thought I should go that way, but don't go that way. Come through these trees and go this way. And up around the corner, we'll start to see a blaze. So that was a little bit confusing. All right, see there's a blaze up ahead, so this is the right way. All right, I'm coming up on Sugar Hollow. I'm hoping to eat lunch down here somewhere. This little river. I'll post in the video what river this is. I've been walking along it kind of a little higher for the past, I don't know, half mile or so. A um, couple little spots where I could have climbed down, but it looked a little sketchy and I had heard we'd be closer to it up here, so I didn't take them. But it's a nice little meadow. Clouds are starting to lift up, starting to see some blue skies. Let me go more wide view. There. Oh, I love the sound of the river. As usual, I'm looking around for hammock trees. These are all too close together. Those are too far apart. Those two right there might be good. I'm not camping here, but I think I'm gonna eat lunch here. I finished lunch. This is a very pretty little area. Uh, those trees look good for hammocking. about a mile to Jones Falls and I'm going to stop there and assess whether or not where I'm going to stay tonight because it's running a little later than I'd wanted to but like I said no real plans today <sighs> oh look coming up on a little fire pit area I should have waited here for lunch but This is the bottom of Jones Falls. It goes up, 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 up. And it's about 100 feet high. to Campbell Hollow Road. We come across this nice little pine forest. I love these kind of forests. But it's a little close to Campbell Hollow Road, so I'm not going to camp here. All right. 
So thank you to Buck Mountain Baptist Church. They have a hose spigot over here. And according to uh, Far Out app, you can get water, which I just did. Just filled up free water. All right, still doing good. Back on the trail now. This was literally a hop, skip, and a jump off the trail, so. Alright, so there's something you don't see every day on the Appalachian Trail. Coming up on a graveyard. Alright. A little cemetery in the middle of the woods. Alright everybody, I made it um, to about 0.2 miles from the meadow and uh, this is where I'm set up for camp. It is a perfect spot so I didn't want to risk um, pushing on and then not having any trees by the meadow. So um, just so you can see, I love this big tree behind me but I'm gonna there's my hammock already set up for the night. And this, by this tree, there wasn't much of a sunset so I didn't miss anything being up by the meadow. Um, I am gonna, this is where I'm gonna hang my bear bag um, because everything else is like pines and the, um, oh, they're all super close together. So, um, should be fine. The people around here said there really aren't bears in this area, so I'm not worried. But I am enjoying it. I love a good tree to sit by. <laughs> Bye. Well, good morning. <clears throat> it is sun or Monday morning, January 2nd. Um, I'm just eating breakfast. Um, I'm having some hard boiled eggs. They're still cold. I wrap them in a wet paper towel and then wrap them in foil, and they usually last at least through the second day of hiking. So um, I just crack them. Roll. And these were made in the Instapot. Whoop. Super easy. Mess free. Love it. So anyway, I realized I didn't talk about my blood sugar at all yesterday. So I figured while I was eating, I would talk about that. I just tested my morning. My fasting number was 93, which is totally fine. Um, I was really hungry last night. I heard my stomach growling like all night long. Um, but I had at lunchtime, I took my sugar and it was 72. That was after I started eating my apple and peanut butter. So I think I was pretty low. Um, I did not really bring that much food for this trip because it was a short trip. So it was probably a mistake. Um, but it didn't get too bad. So anyway, just want to update you all on that. And here is my delicious boiled egg for breakfast. I have two of those, and I have some, like an Atkins bar, and some Slim Jim and cheese, and a Stinger waffle for my snacks and lunch today, so uh, just enjoying my spot here in the hammock. Um, it's a beautiful view, I'm sure I'll post pictures of this tree that I'm sitting by, but I'm going to go ahead and pack up soon and head to the meadow and hopefully there's a spot I can also hang there for a little bit because I only have three miles today so I can take it easy. Alright, see you later. P.S. I don't usually eat in my hammock but there's not good spots to sit here um, and I know I'm going home after this so I can wash my hammock and I am uh, don't normally recommend eating in your, in your hammock or where you're going to sleep especially if it's a nighttime meal. But I think I'll be fine since I'm heading home after this. I think my watch accidentally turned off the video. Alright, so I see a white blaze down that way. I'm going to just peek over here for a second.
So just to look, if I could have gone another tenth of a mile, there have been hammock trees up here. Uh, a lot of underbrush. Maybe not here. Let's keep going on the actual AT. I believe that's Hump Mountain. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite mountains. Alright. Let's see. If I could have hung my hammock up here. Uh, You know what? That actually would have fit right there. If I ever come back up, that's where I'm going. What a great view. Looks like somebody had a fire in here. In the summertime, I bet this is full of wildflowers. This is Bear Branch Creek. We're almost done with our hike. I think we're about a half a mile from 19E. Very pretty. Very little. Lots of pretty water views on this hike. If it had been summertime, I would have been putting my feet in. Almost missed a step. <laughs> 